There was some great battling going on in LMP2 as Wayne Boyd tried to defend his category lead, Stoffel van Dorna hunting him down. And then they discovered the traffic. The gaps opened up for Wayne Boyd. The gaps closed for the Belgian driver. That meant the lead stretch that Boyd had, but also the gap came right down second and third as van Dorna was caught by Franco Colapinto and the two of them ran nose to tail up to the end of the lap. Wayne Boyd able to stretch that advantage within LMP2 as there was drama for Sam Bird in GTE Pro trying to put a lap on Brendan Arib's Ferrari. The two tangled coming down to the Ford chicane. Around they both went, both rejoined, both lost time. This was Brendan Arib's view turning into the chicane and contact as Sam Bird was already fully alongside. Then the rain started to fall and one of the first casualties was Fritz van Eerd. He was off the road at the Porsche curves. He turned in, suddenly the car got away from him as the grip level changed. And although the car was undamaged, he was well beached in the gravel and lost a lot of time as the car was retrieved. But yet more drama within LMP2 and there was more drama around the corner as well. Sophia Flersch, minding her own business, suddenly came under attack from an out of control Franco Colapinto. Both cars ending up in the barrier and that seemed to destroy the steering on Sophia Flersch's car. It spun back across the road and she tried to get it out of the way. The trouble was the steering by this stage wasn't working at all and the car trickled back into the path of Tom Chloe who had nowhere to go. Two more damaged cars, cue the safety car with the rain falling with damaged cars and debris all over the circuit. Sophia Flores did her best to get the car moving again, but to no avail, and it was another big impact. And United Autosports was in strife as well, as Manuel Maldonado careered across the gravel and Harpoon teammate Paul de Resta. Two more front-running LMP2 cars in trouble, both badly delayed, as the British team found itself tumbling down the order. Maldonado's car off into the gravel. It lost a huge amount of time and there was yet more problems as well as for the IDEX Sport team, 48 had a spin coming into the chicane. Again, an LMP2 car losing chunks of time. And so we had the safety car out on track. The rain continued to fall, even if it was only light rain. The marshals had quite a lot of clearing up to be done. And at the head of the field, the two Toyotas continued to dominate the race.